Well, we do have a new update here and a brand new poll on the Jacksonville Jaguars stadium saga. The University of North Florida and their poll. We've got Jacksonville voters split on funding the renovations for their stadium according to a new poll that was released on Monday. 46% support and 47% oppose sending $1 billion to the Jags for the renovated stadium. But when you actually read this, it, the numbers are a lot worse than that. When the University of North Florida's Public Opinion Research Lab asked Duval County voters if they would support giving the team $1 billion in taxpayer funds to renovate Ever Everbank Stadium. By the way, thank goodness it got changed back to Everbank Stadium. Personally, I still think that's a bad name for a stadium, but it's it's at least better than the, what is it, TIAA or whatever, Bank Field. 46% yes, 47% no. The poll of 511 registered voters had around a 5% margin of error, which means the two responders are statistically tied. However, an overwhelming majority of voters said it was important for Jacksonville to have an NFL franchise in the city. A total of 83% of voters said they wanted a team, with 49% saying it was very important. Democrats were significantly more likely than Republicans to support taxpayer investment. And then in the lower paragraph, the poll asked about publicly funded renovations at different price points. And see, this is where the big story is right here. I don't know where they're getting, oh, 46%, half the people want to pay for these. Look at this. With the project estimated to cost $2 billion, and yes, that is the current estimate, the actual stadium renovation is $1.5, but the entire district around the stadium, we know this is what teams like doing now, the entire district adds up to $2 billion, and if they want to go 50-50, which has been kind of the thought with Shad Khan, the Jaguars' owner contributing half, and the taxpayers paying for the other half, that would be a billion dollars on the taxpayers. Uh, the taxpayer-funded portion of $1 billion was the least popular at just 6%. And at a price point of $500 billion, so half of a billion dollars, support cracked into the double digits with 12% saying yes, and support nearly doubled when the number was cut to $250 million. The most popular option was having the Jaguars purchase all the land and pay for renovations themselves, with just over half, 51%, saying no to any public funding at all. So they kind of buried the lead there when they said half the voters support it, half of them don't. The proposal that I saw when it came to the Jaguars stadium was half public support, half private support because the stadium is owned by the general public, not by the Jaguars owner. They're trying to say, oh, it should be 50-50. It's a $2 billion project. And we've got in this poll, this is only 511 voters, but at least it's, it's at least something you've got just 6% willing to go with that proposal that was laid out there. So it's very clear the Jaguars are going to have to do something differently here. Maybe they'll try and swing it kind of like Oklahoma City swung it. If you guys don't know, the Thunder are getting a new arena. And basically, I mean, the taxpayers are paying for most of all of it. I think only about 12% of it or 15% is coming from the Thunder owner and they're saying, oh, we're not going to up your taxes. We're just reallocating where the tax money is going. So while we're not going to tax you on one thing, now the taxes are going to be used to pay for the stadium. So in other words, your taxes might have gone down. Uh, now they're not going up, but they're also not going down because the thing that you were being taxed for, yeah, you're not going to be taxed for that. But now you're going to get taxed for the arena. So maybe they will try and reallocate the taxes in a way uh, in the Jacksonville area and swing it like, oh, your taxes aren't going to go up. We're just reallocating it, and now we're going to tax you for this stadium. This is no, These are not good numbers at all. Again, I, I don't know why where they're getting 46% say they want to fund it. If public funds were given to the Jaguars to fix up the less than 30-year-old stadium, researchers wanted to know what the public thought. The most important part of the deal would be nearly half of the public said that community and economic investment in underserved neighborhoods was the most important, uh, creating more entertainment and nightlife downtown, and negotiating the smallest public investment possible. Public opinion has warmed significantly to funding the renovation project in recent months. When researchers last asked the question in August of 2022, 80% of the public 
were opposed to it with 69% saying they were strongly opposed in that poll. Just 19% of voters voiced support for the project, which at that point was around $850 million. So these are really not good numbers when it comes to the public. And it's really not all that surprising when you look at Jacksonville's stadium of the future. It's a complete rebuild. I, I guess they would keep the seating on the interior the same, but they would change a bunch of stuff, including brand new pools for the stadium. Obviously, the major investment would be creating kind of that chrome exterior, all of the supports, and then obviously the translucent roof would be the biggest investment when it comes to that. And that's kind of the, you know, if you are a team in Florida, at this point, you're either going with some type of overhang like Hard Rock Stadium and maybe Camping World Stadium and, you know, even FSU, Florida State University, is talking about doing some type of overhang. You either do that, which is the much cheaper route, or you make a crazy investment, or at least try to make a crazy investment into doing this. Either way, they're really going to have to change it up. Maybe they can do some type of deal where, I mean, it's just $2 billion for the entire project. It's so much money. You're really not leaving yourself much wiggle room. If you are the Jaguars owner, do you consider, you know, chipping in more money to this? Do you try and get the money a different way? Maybe the Jaguars pay $1.2 billion, the public pays $500 million, and then they get extra privately funded money from someone else. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's going to be happening, but they're certainly going to have to do something different. These numbers are just not good. The key number there was 6% support paying the current Jaguars funding proposal, which was a billion from the team, and then a billion publicly because they argue that the city of Jacksonville owns Everbank Stadium, so they should pitch in their fair share. Not that that would really matter. Owners always want public money anyways. Uh, but this is something that's going to have to be worked out. You still do have the idea that they could threaten relocation possibly coming. It is a horrible stadium. They do need a major renovation to it. There have been other ideas for renovations. Am I a little bit surprised that they went with this route where it's very expensive? Honestly, it just depends. I, I mean, if they want to host a Super Bowl and, and they still want to host the world's biggest cocktail party, which is the rivalry game every year, you know, between Georgia and Florida, you need to make an investment into the stadium. And that's exactly what they're doing now. They're going with the SoFi model to where it's not fully closed. So there's still going to be air circulating throughout the stadium. The other interesting thing with these renderings that I don't think people really understand, they're including like a little, uh, what, what do you call it, drape or a curtain to overhang and block out some of the upper deck seats during Jaguars games. It's very strange to me. I, I mean, I guess you could say they built the stadium too big, but it is odd that that, that would be in a rendering. You almost never see something like that, but we got these renderings back in June and here we are in September, the Jaguars, you know, with Trevor Lawrence, they're a young team, they're improving every year, they're in a very easy division, probably going back to the playoffs, the big favorites to win, uh, you know, the AFC South, we will see the stadium is less than 30 years old, but again, when it comes to these stadiums, especially we're seeing this trend with stadiums built in the 90s, they were built with different expectations than current stadiums. So they were built on an extreme budget. If they were, I mean, think about that. This is a, I guess you could call it renovation, rebuild, whatever you want to call it. It's $2 billion or $1.5 billion if you don't want to talk about the development around it, but it's basically $2 billion for a rebuild. It's not even like it's a brand new stadium. I mean, at this point, how much would a brand new stadium cost in Jacksonville? I guess with a translucent roof, it would probably cost $3 billion. The commanders were talking about building a stadium with some type of translucent roof, and it was around $3.5 billion. So the prices for these things are completely crazy. And unfortunately, the public, they say they want to keep the Jaguars. Of course they do, but it does become almost a shakedown to where they can threaten to move if the public does not agree to pay uh, for these renovations or at least partly pay, at least at this point it's 50-50. Sometimes they want the public to pay for like 80 or 90% like the Oklahoma City new arena project is doing. So we will see what happens here 
and it is a touchy subject. It's the problem with Florida stadiums. Florida stadiums, do you have a dome? Do you go train? I mean, you can't do a dome unless you're the Rays. But, but even the Rays are doing like, they just announced their project in Florida. Even they're doing something where there's going to be a bunch of natural light that gets gets let into it. You've got Lone Depot Park, which is basically a de facto dome because they can't open it because it's always humid and there's always thunderstorms in the area. And then you've got all the open stadiums that are thinking about adding overhangs would it be better for the Jaguars to consider an overhang? It would be significantly less in terms of the cost. It would probably bring the cost down by like $250 million, maybe even more than the translucent roof. But obviously the translucent roof is going to be way better in terms of you know hosting other events. It's not exactly climate controlled, but if you have a full roof over your stadium it's it's going to make it better more ideal game day experience for the players and for the fans because you kind of get the best of both worlds with the natural light being let in but it's being let in at a filtered pace it's not coming in and, and the sun's not really attacking you because it will be deflected off of the translucent roof so either way guys the jaguars they're trying to fund this they're going to have to do something different here especially i mean just 6% support if it was at like 25 or 30%, you could kind of work with that. 6% support for their proposal, even if you bring it down to $500 million in public funds, that's just one-fourth of the project that would be publicly funded. It's still just 12% support, and then you bring it down to $250 million, which would be one-eighth of the project publicly funded. I believe that the numbers were right around one-fifth support. So they're not getting any support when it comes to the public funding any of this and the most popular scenario at least for the general public would be the Jaguars just buying the entire stadium and privately funding the entire project we will have to see what happens but guys that is going to do it for this video make sure you're following me on x link to that's always in the description